What's going on guys, DCVS here, and today I'm here with another Mega Constructs Halo review. Today we're going to look at the Warthog Run set from the new 10 year anniversary wave of Mega Constructs Halo. Uh, this, I got this in my latest haul video. The set comes with 318 pieces, 4 figures, and here is the back of the box. And these are the other two sets that you can pick up. Both of them are on Amazon. This one you can order. I don't think you can order this one yet. But yeah. So, without further ado, let us look at the figures. The first figure that we're going to look at is the Hunter. Uh, so there are two in this set. And we're just going to look at one because it's just the same figure. And I don't have a lot of these newer style hunters, but I really like them. Um, I like the older hunter bodies. I thought they were good, but these ones are awesome. Here's the side. Uh, I'm sure you guys, I think these have been out for a little bit now. But these move, they're, you know, you can take them off if you want. But yeah, the paintwork on this, the printed looks good here's the back uh, not really much going on there I do like how these are you can put these on they look good I don't know I don't know if they have a blast effect for a hunter but they don't looks like they're gonna make one since there's some there's some holes right there and yeah I really really like this these new figures for the hunters uh, they have some really good articulation for hunters as well. Um, you know, his foot moves, which is pretty cool. And, like, he just has better articulation than the older hunters. And I'm glad that they got a little a bit of a redo. But, yeah, so that's it for the first figure, or figures. Let's go and take a look at the next one. So the next figure that we're going to look at is the Arbiter, and boy, oh boy, do I really like this Arbiter. So this is a re-release. They had the Arbiter, the same figure, in a Heroes Wave, but that Heroes Wave never like really released, so it became very rare to get, very hard to get, and very expensive on like eBay. But I'm very happy that I was able to get him in this set, because Arbiter is my favorite character in Halo at Fell, not Reapa, which I also like Reapa. But this, this he's my favorite character in all of Halo. I'm very happy to get this version of him. I hope to find the Heroes one, which is, I think it is Halo 2 colored. And I also have Halo 5. Uh, but he looks great. I really like the metallic gold. And yeah, he just, he looks great. Uh, I'm glad... But they re-released him and put it into a set because the sets are a lot easier to get because they're usually just on Amazon. So that is the Arbiter. Let's go and take a look at our last figure. Now the last figure in this set is the one and only Master Chief. And I have a little gripe with this figure. I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera, but if you guys have the set, I don't know if this is like... And every set might just be my figure, but his head, his helmet, and these two arm pieces are not the same color as his body pieces and his legs. And if you can see, this is like a metallic green, and it looks great. It looks fantastic. This is just their regular, just green color that they would put on just like a regular figure. And it kind of just, it just doesn't... It kind of just throws off the figure a little bit since there's two different color plate or palettes on him, even though it's mainly just supposed to be this on the whole body. It doesn't make the figure look bad or make it, you know, not wanting to have it. I'm glad I have him. I've been wanting him. It's just I kind of wish they would have just made it all one color. Now, again, I don't know if this is just mine or if it's a whole thing. But the Master Chief from the Heroes Wave, the current one, from Combat Evolved, had the same issue, which I talked about in my haul as well. But, I mean, he looks great other than that. I, he, look, he still looks good. 
figure, the armor details on point. It looks just like Master Chief from Halo 3. Just some weird color changes, some weird color things. But I mean, other than that, I'm very happy to have him. And yeah, that's that's my only issue with him. Now, setting him aside, there are three weapons in this set. You do get a regular assault rifle, which the details on there nicely. Uh, not painted, you know, you usually get the painted weapons from like the littler packs, which is the one figure and all the weapons, but still good detail. And you also get a carbine. So, you know, that's good. And then with these uh, newer, like this 10 years thing, you do have these golden guns to collect. And the golden weapon in this set is the flamethrower. And I think it looks really, really cool in the gold. And the gold is kind of the same as like the Arbiter. It might be a little different shade, but it's still very nice metallic. It shines and it's... I think it looks really cool. Uh, I'm very happy that they're doing these golden weapons because it's just different and it's cool and I like it. Now, this does, doesn't come with a flame piece, which I wish it did. I don't know if I have one. I might have a flame piece from an older set. But I think I got one from one of the drop pods. So, But I don't know where that's at. So I kind of wish they would have put in a flame piece or maybe... You know, for the hunters, a little piece for their, you know, cannon arm. But that's okay. So, yeah, that is it for all of that. Let's go and take a look at the set. Now, as the name of the set states, this, the main thing you get is the Warthog. And it's just the same Warthog from, um, like, the newer Warthog sets. I don't... The newest one that I have would be the one, like, in Snowbound. It's the Red, Ver it's like Red Team, you know. And that Warthog, it's, I think it's just the same one, but different colors. And it looks good. It looks just like the Warthog from the game. And, yeah, I'm, I'm, I like it. I'm a very big fan of Warthogs. And I like just getting one of these sets every now and then. I do, I'm still a big fan of the... <laughs> Printed pieces. I hate. I hated stickers. Was I always put them on badly. And the printed pieces look very nice. Right here, as you can see, a little bit of damage. Uh, you know, a little bit more right there. Then on the inside, there's some more printed pieces, as you can see, on the console and all of that. And there's more on the inside. There's the back of it. Uh, and yeah, it, I. This is a good, good Warthog build. I'm glad they're still using this build. And yeah, it, I think it looks great. Not, not really much to say because, you know, it's just the same Warthog as all the other sets. So I don't really have much to say about it other than it's good. It's not like a special Warthog, kind of like the Halo 5 Warthog with, um, you know, these two and their Halo 5 designs. It's just a regular Warthog from Halo 3. But yeah, that's that's it for that. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. So that's it for today's review. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, what do you guys think about this set? I think the main selling point for this set, at least to me, were the figures. Mainly Arbiter and the Master Chief back there. You know, it's just another Warthog, and I like Warthogs. I have a lot of them, but the, I feel like the main selling point for me were those figures, and the Hunters are cool. One thing I would have liked, since the last mission in Halo 3 has Covenant and Flood, is if maybe we gotten, like, a Flood figure. I know that that might have been pushing it, because it's, you already got the four figures in this little set, but I would have liked to see some Flood Spores, maybe. I don't know, just to make it more like the last mission. But other than that, this is a really good set. I recommend buying it. On Amazon right now, it's about $16. So if you don't have it, it's almost half off. Go grab yourself one. Go grab two, you know, if you really want to. It's, it's a really good set. I recommend getting it.
But yeah, guys, that's going to be it today. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I do videos like this and other videos. Uh, comment your thoughts on the set down below. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.